action. Hello and welcome to I Don't Know Movies. My name is Ian Abramson and this is Charlie Rohrer. Howdy. And this is Tommy McNamara. Hello. Three wonderful people and Tommy too. The, uh, <laughs> listen, tried to do a dig. Okay, the way the show works, it's very fun. Uh, one of us will pick a movie and then we go to the IMDb parental guide section and read the submissions that are on there so that the other two can try and guess what movie we are thinking of. What's fun about this is that all of the parental guide section is completely user submitted. So we're getting some some fun ways of describing certain things because it's all people that think I need to make sure other parents know how to guide their children, right? <laughs> Putting the P in PG. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded exactly like I wanted it to. And that'll be in the parental guide of this episode. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to uh, – I have a movie pulled up. I'll go first. And um, I will read three clues, three of my, my favorite clues that I've found, <clears throat> and then you will be able to start guessing. Perfect. If you're not guessing, I'll keep reading. Does that make sense? And what is the monetary value of the prize we will be getting? Mm, it, it's uh, – negative eighteen dollars. If you win, we you owe the show eighteen dollars. Yeah. Is that nine each or how does that work? Yeah. We'll work it. It's never happened before. <laughs> We're pretty good at this game. Okay. You know? Um Yeah, we don't split it fifty fifty. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Uh first up, this is under sex and nudity. Mm -hmm. Okay. When blank and we blank out uh nouns that would give it away. Cool. Right. I uh, blank gratuitously you know err on the side of blanking if you're worried about it so right? if you did knives out you would say detective benoit blank <laughs> <laughs> yeah detective benoit took the blanks blank <laughs> or in blank man <laughs> Tim oh. I like that reference <laughs> wow I'm more of a blank man guy. He's more of a meteor man. This We should not get into this. <clears throat> yeah, because both of those are my two movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, when Blank goes into the sumo locker room, mm. two sumos remove their mawashi in front of her, thus becoming naked. The nudity is hidden by the basket pushed by Blank. I think I have the answer. Are you serious? Oh, wow. I got to read I got to read two more and then okay. you'll be able to guess, okay? But you've buzzed in. I've buzzed in. <laughs> buzzed in. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is under violence. We see a car explode and hear a man talking about his mother having died in the explosion. We see this scene a few times. Does this help or hurt your answer? I don't remember that, so I might have been might have been wrong. But we'll see what the third one is. Okay. <clears throat> I'm only going to read one of these uh, entries for profanity. There are two. One of them is a long list of profanities, and the other one says, at least two uses of S-H-I-T, one in German. Is it, can I guess? You may now guess. Is it Austin Powers' gold member? Oh, my God! <laughs> wow! I, I thought I was wow. going to throw I can't believe that. From the sumo? The sumo scene, I uh, I watched this movie more recently than I'd like to admit. And <laughs> I just remember the pushing the basket in the sumo. I was like, I know what that is. Wow. Uh, Foxy Brown. <laughs> Foxy Brown. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. Beyonce, right? You yes. knew the, which, which of the sequels. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. <laughs> that is excellent. I guess it would have to be, because now I do have the scene in my head, mm -hmm. and it is Fat Bastards. Yes, because Fat Bastard is a sumo wrestler. So it would have to yeah. be, at least be one of the one of the sequels. It couldn't, because he's not in the first one, right? No, no. no. Uh, they cut him out for time. But I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was this whole C plot with Fat Bastard. Uh, <laughs> excellent. That was. Uh, what I like about the Austin Powers movies is in the first one, Mike Myers plays Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. He one-ups himself in the second one by also playing Fat Bastard. And then in this one, he ones up by playing another version of Dr. Evil. It's like, what is, what, do, not, it's it's just another uh, big bad guy, right? All he does is eat his skin. Is Gold there anything member. else different? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, I hate that. The, eating the skin is, is too much. Right. Yeah. 
It's like, how do you make Dr. Evil more eccentric? You go gross, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, but isn't he just like a bald guy? Um, He's very thin. Thinning is what I mean. Oh, I'm Not sorry. Like skinny, <laughs> okay. okay, that is okay. different from Fat Bastard. <laughs> okay. okay because that does make him... It's like, so he's kind of balding as yeah. opposed to Dr. Evil fully bald. Yeah, more um, or less. So more embarrassing than the fact that I watched Goldmember recently is that I also watched a few minutes of a reaction, YouTube reaction video to Goldmember yes. <laughs> because I thought it was the movie <laughs> Goldmember full movie on YouTube. And... <laughs> It was this British woman, and there's the opening of that movie uh, as Tom Cruise as uh, Austin Powers. That's like oh, it's like right. a movie within a movie thing. Yeah, they do the Pee Wee Herman. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, I just remember the woman going, "Oh, Tom Cruise, they mu- he must be a fan." <laughs> 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 like he, he's in the movie because he's a fan of Austin Powers. <laughs> oh man, yeah, maybe like. Right. I'm a fan then it's of like, these Austin Powers like movies. Six more. Can you get me an audition? <laughs> yeah, a list actors in that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, like a, oh oh wow Kevin uh, what's his name um, Kevin Spacey Kevin He's, Spacey is in that Kevin it. Spacey uh, he yes. must be a fan <laughs> he must be a fan yeah <laughs> Steven Spielberg is in that scene too yeah, yeah. Uh, just a doesn't um, Danny DeVito play Mini Me yes yeah 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 <laughs> oh wow you okay so you watched the YouTube reaction video by mistake because you For thought very uh, yeah well I realized very quickly and then I watched a few minutes just because I'd never seen one of those I want to be like what is this actually like and yeah. it's awful it's just like <laughs> literally like oh that's funny like watching Austin Powers <laughs> it's like why would anyone need this I need to watch somebody watch Austin Powers <laughs> yeah. I don't understand oh, my that. favorite YouTuber finally watched Austin Powers <laughs> Gold Member and talked the whole time the yeah. entire time <laughs> it's the weirdest phenomenon yeah. on the internet to me like it's so busy biz- the weird the weirdest is the people that are just like. <laughs> Because they don't want to like au- like fuck with the audio or something. Yeah. Like I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> Are people watching this? And they have like thousands and thousands of views. It, it blows my so mind. So funny. I don't want the person I'm watching the movie with to be audibly reacting to the movie, let alone the <laughs> yeah. stranger. Yeah. Like, yeah. A video of a stranger. <laughs> yeah, a video yeah. of the most annoying person to sit in front of. <laughs> that is taking the wrong lesson from Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, um, one, Charlie? My cousin's... Uh, they're, they're younger, so they know the ins and outs of the internet. Apparently, what you want to do if you're looking for full copyrighted material mm-hmm. online is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a good way to get this podcast flagged. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube, if you just add the word slime tutorial, <laughs> there are slime too many tutorial. slime tutorials on YouTube. So they just like have given up on anything that's tagged with that. <laughs> and wow. so they, they like watch like full-length plays and stuff like that. It should be illegal, but... Yeah. If you actually wanted a slime tutorial, you'd be so bummed, though. <laughs> yeah. Imagine how hard it is. To, yeah. you just, musical after musical. Watching Alison Bechtel's Fun Home. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make slime. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So let's see. I'll, I'm going to start with sex and nudity for this one. Oh. <laughs> That's usually how it starts. I clicked on sex and nudity, and in parentheses is the number three. Mm-hmm. And when I clicked on it, it, it just says none. <laughs> wow, okay. There, that counts oh, as one. Okay, wait, there's under spoilers. I had to click spoilers. Oh, okay. Mm. But none. Sex and nudity, there's none. That is a spoiler. Is it the spy who shagged me? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Um, in one scene, Blank calls his sister Diaper Girl. Wow. Somebody felt the need to put that under sex and nudity. <laughs> it says more about the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Little, little Diaper revealing. Girl. They're talking about Diaper Girls. <laughs> in the beginning of the movie, when the lady at the airport, she brings down the magazine and you can see her cleavage in the low-cut dress as she proceeds to stand. Mm. Verbatim, by the way. The of course. We're not in Diaper Girl anymore. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to move on to violence and gore. Okay. A girl spits a special gum on a thumb and causes it to convulse as if electrocuted and drop to the floor. A thumb is electrocuted and killed. 
both thumbs are oh. in got it. quotations. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Are you kidding me? Interesting. I know exactly who Diaper Girl is. <laughs> <laughs> Ian never forgets a Diaper Girl. Never forget the Diaper Girl. <laughs> I saw this movie. This is how confident I am. I'm I'm giving I'm like a wrestler shooting a promo for a match. He, he knows he's about to win. I. I saw this movie and I loved it so much I saw it again and by the time the sequel had come out I totally aged out of the franchise and have never seen any of them again. Oh damn. But it's one of I adore this director so much because he's so uh, DIY and has such a cool background. Give it up for Sin City's uh, Robert Rodriguez with Spy Kids. Oh yes. yes. I knew Absolutely. I knew the thumb from something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Weirdly, right. the gum, even before the thumb, I was like, oh, sh because, listen, I saw it twice in theaters <laughs> like 20 years ago. So, of course, I remember the gum. What was it? She spits a special gum? Is it like a special a gum? Yeah, it's spy gum. Okay. I love it. That's how Alan Cumming got on my radar. Okay. Mm. Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. I had seen that and loved it, but I didn't think of him in that He didn't stand out way. to you? Yeah, I mean, like, what he does in that movie is kind of, like, come in at the end and be like, hey, I'm cool, right? Yeah, pretty much. That well, is a great movie, though. You know what? Good point. Does he play Nightcrawler in an X-Men movie yes. at yes. some point? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what solidified it, is I was like, that's that guy from Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. <laughs> and that's <laughs> where I was like... The guy from Romeo like... and Michelle is trying to kill the president. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I, like... He like stayed on my radar as like somebody. How, when when was your first Alan Cumming experience? Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's so many that I can't even. Uh, I, yeah, I just he's meant so much to me that I can't really put my thumb on it. Yeah. Uh, but. Well, he's but got. You gotta, you gotta get some special gum. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when I was a kid, gummy. I loved The Good Wife. And <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you got one, Tommy? Uh, wait, real quick. Oh, I've yeah. got two just notable from. Wait, what is this? Violence and gore. Uh, a boat runs into another boat, ripping it in half. And kids throw toys at adults. I just really liked those uh, described as violence and gore. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Tommy, you got one? I do have one. Okay. Uh, this is from Profanity. I just thought this was a funny one. This is, uh, the language generally is very civilized, spread out, and even excellent in the sense of its grammar. So wow. that's something to note. <laughs> it's just a description that of sounds like so, That sounds like <laughs> Frasier fan fiction. <laughs> like somebody's trying to capture Frasier's voice. Okay. The grammar is superb, Niles. That sounds like Kelsey Grammer describing Frasier to someone at a dinner party. <laughs> oh, I was on the show. Uh, the grammar was exquisite. <laughs> Very spread out, which I don't understand at all. Um, spread out. Yeah. I don't like when my grammar's too bunched up. <laughs> too much grammar in one place. Oh, my God. Okay, sex and nudity. Only a sentence implicitly referring to oral sex, but that is just for teasing the other side. It's also used in a very sexist manner. Wow. I bet I can guess. The uh, what the manner is, not the movie. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, I can't guess the movie. I'm I can just guess the manner in which someone would suggest that. Mm. And you know what I mean? Okay, finally, <laughs> violence and gore. At the very beginning of the film, a man is attacked and bound while sleeping, but very little is seen. This can be disturbing for those with weak stomachs as the music enhances the intensity. Oh my goodness. Do you have an answer? Did I, I might have made it too hard. No, 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 no. This, this, that's part of the fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're good. It's good. It, <laughs> you don't want it to be too obvious right away. Great. Okay. Yeah. And the reason we started doing the three guesses is because we started out throwing random guesses too quick. So uh, normally it's good when it takes a handful it's, of guesses. Okay. I think I have a guess, but I, I don't think it's correct. I'm going to go with get out. Interesting. That is not correct. Well, then I was right. <laughs> Or should I say, nope? <laughs> That's Look at so us. us. <laughs> oh, man. There it is. Um, Key and Peele. <laughs> I have a guess. God, I can't remember the name of the cat movie. Keanu. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Thank Which you. I randomly saw. Thank you. Yeah. Randomly, you're like, can you believe that? You're with somebody that saw that. <laughs> I thought I was going to McDonald's. but <laughs> Yeah. I got uh, interviewed for having seen that movie. <laughs> I have a guess, but I and, and it's 
there's there are vibes about it mm. <laughs> that are similar to Get Out in a way, but it is not similar to Get Out. Uh, I'm gonna guess Wedding Crashers. That is not. Oh. Do you see at all the connection, the vibe no, connection that I'm talking about? Bit. Okay. Do we make sense? Do I read another? So what yep. goes on if I can? Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Do I, are they going to okay. keep reading read them? them. Okay, yeah. Great. Yeah. You yeah. can exhaust it, and you can like we kind of like if quick. there's one that's like yeah. really obvious, you like save it for a little later type of vibe. Okay. Cool. Um, this is under spoilers. Great. Okay. A man commits suicide after getting in his full uniform. And shooting himself. Oh, man. It's a full uniform. Full metal jacket. No. But no, he was in his underpants. <laughs> was he really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, wow, great detective work over here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many times that happens in that movie, but the time that I remember, he's like, I don't. Re I just remembered that it happened. I kind of. I remember the guy screaming. I yeah. remember the guy crying, and then I remembered that the guy wasn't in the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, should yeah, should I do don't. another yeah, one? Yeah. Some boot camp training is shown. Rough, but nothing intense. We're I'm getting closer to full metal, metal jacket. <laughs> Puts on his full metal. A few good men. A few good men is the correct answer. Yes! You can oh! handle the truth, Ian. Yes. Oh. I love it. I don't know if I've seen a few good men. Can is I that tell true? you something? I've I never seen a few good what? men. What? Wow. And I just spoiled the movie for myself. <laughs> boom! 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 I love it. Wow. Is that how it ends? That's not like in the beginning of the movie? I would assume, I w if I had to guess, have you seen it? Oh, many times, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, if I had to guess, I would guess that this suicide happens uh, near the end of Act One, about a third of the way into the movie. It's it's early early in the film, yeah. Wow. Um, and the blowjob wow. line is Jack Nichols going, you ever get a blowjob from a superior officer? <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Maybe commanding officer. I'll yeah. be honest, I did not guess correctly the manner in which it was used. <laughs> I, I assumed it was like a an exclamation slash like request. Like a blow me. Type yeah, of, yes. right. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, so that put in my head raunchy comedy for some yes. reason. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's why I was on Wedding Crashers. Well, Get Out and, and Wedding Crashers was such funny. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I guess it's totally <laughs> diametrically opposed. Yeah, yeah. It's a full metal jacket, which is about as close as could be without being it. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then, uh. Like the bound and gagged, I was like, well, I'm pretty sure that happens in the third act of Vince Vaughn. <laughs> like, that's much later in the movie. <laughs> I'm, gonna two, gonna, I'm going to give two that are infuriating, and then I think the, or, you know, uh, mystifying, and then the third one I think will make you all get it. Nice. At least one of you. Um, okay, first clue. Man shown being addicted to prescription pills also drinks and smoked heavily. Mm. A man in prison is being inspected naked. His butt is seen briefly. <laughs> also, the officer inspecting him talks about parts of his body to tell him what to do, but not by their anatomical names. Okay. Be honest, I don't remember that part. <laughs> I don't remember those anatomical names. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> third clue: the main character does his work naked in a bathtub, but there is a desk over the part of the tub where his private parts are, so they can't be seen. Now, Ian, I believe we saw this movie together. <laughs> is this Trumbo? This is Trumbo. <laughs> wow. Oh man, I knew I could go with a deep cut because I knew we'd seen it together. Trumbo. Trumbo. Did you see Trumbo? I have not seen Trumbo. Uh, what is Trumbo? I would not have gotten it until the bathtub one. I, that that's, is yeah. my distinct memory of that movie. It's <laughs> just <laughs> typewriter in a bathtub. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like I've seen, because like there's enough movies where the character's doing enough work in the tub where it's sure. like, oh, okay, I, sure. I, I could see it being multiple things. But no, I've never seen Trumbo. What's it about? A uh, writer that was blacklisted. Mm -hmm. uh, For being in the bath too much. They are like, <laughs> you read his scripts and you can just picture his dong floating right underneath the typewriter. <laughs> Played by Brian Cranston. Yes. <laughs> his dong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Louis C.K. does not give the acting performance of his lifetime, but he's in it. Uh, <laughs> that's what I look for in a movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
If Louis C.K. is phoning it in, I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm picking up that call. <laughs> Goddamn, Tommy. <laughs> um, okay, should I uh, start with mine? Please. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, under sex and nudity, women in bikini mm. on the TV. Mm. Okay. In two scenes, a woman is seen in bed wrapped in a sheet, apparently following a night with a man who is in the room. No nudity or sexual activity are seen. Bikini on the TV, sheet in the room. Screen it in quotations. Wait, screen it is, is screen it that old board game? That's seen it. Seen it. Okay, well, there's something called Screen It. And Screen It says there's a topless woman on the door of a helicopter. The image is not clear, though. I could barely see something, but not clear. <laughs> Frustrated guy. <laughs> He's like, I rented, I rented this, movie. this movie because Screen It said <laughs> I wanted to see a picture of a topless woman <laughs> on a helicopter. On a helicopter. <laughs> It's the only thing that makes me feel like a diaper girl. <laughs> Mr. Skin lied to me. He said if I looked at the helicopter. Uh, I'm going to go with the Matrix. Let's see. Not the Matrix. <laughs> I love that bikini TV scene in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Women in bikini on TV. Uh, alcohol, drugs, and smoking. There are only two, and they're pretty basic. Characters drink alcohol in a few scenes. Cigarettes are mentioned and smoked in a few scenes. <laughs> Cigarettes are mentioned. <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> you hear about these things? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I can't think of any movies where they talk about cigarettes. <laughs> so thank you for smoking. Right? <laughs> um, okay, I guess we'll move on to violence and gore. Okay. There's 23 entries. So that. <laughs> Some implied and actual real life violence, etc., depicted both directly and implied. I just thought of another movie that mentions, that talks about cigarettes, and I'm going to go with The Shawshank Redemption. Ooh, nope, nope. They gamble, or they, like, trade. It's like a oh, currency. Oh, okay. I'm trying to, like, now I'm, like, trying to find ones that aren't, like, just, like, upsetting to read. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah. If only there were more helicopter doors. Yeah. Let's see. A man... A man touches an electrical outlet and is shocked badly. He falls limp and unconscious and is presumed dead. Uh, that does sound very familiar to me. Let's see. But it could just be from my own memories of my life. <laughs> 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 from when you uh, watch that man die. That sounds like some Home Alone <laughs> stuff. It does sound like some Home Alone stuff. But then the other, then the, the next yeah, thing down is like, is oh so god, I can't read that. That's not funny. <laughs> Let's see. Many men are injected in the arm, and we see a few field hospital scenes with bloody and wounded people. Injected in the arm. There field is a fight hospital. between two men, and one is slammed onto the hood of a car. I don't know if any of this is going to give away. Like I'm looking for stuff that at this point might describe the movie in any way. There's a car and a field hospital could be anything <laughs> a man vomits loudly and we see some of the spray going into a toilet I'd, so it has to be a military thing right there's a helicopter there's a field hospital men getting injections i feel like it has to be something military i need one more though. apocalypse now nope let's see let's go let's see now that's what i call apocalypse <laughs> Frightening and intense scenes. There's only one entry. The torture and beating scenes are rather graphic and hard to watch. There's also an explosion where people have obviously died, and much of the action is very intense and or suspenseful. I picked a bad one. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I tried to pick a theme. <clears throat> what year is it from? You, there's some lifelines we have okay. at okay. our disposal. 2001. 2001, A Space Odyssey <laughs> is my answer. <laughs> the, Patri the Patriot starring... Uh, Ooh, The Patriot's a great guess. Right? Yeah. It's not The Patriot. Okay. Right? 2001. That's the prequel to The Dark Knight. I went with... Oh, wait, there's an electrical outlet. <laughs> there's an electrical outlet. <laughs> That's the funny yeah, thing about yeah. all this. There's so much, like... 
person to person violence, and then there's a man touches an electrical outlet and dies. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. that scene in that movie just has to be so silly, like a man killing himself by mistake. No. It's not Black Hawk Down, is it? No. Oh, that's a great guess. Yeah. I was thinking of 2000s military movies. Three Kings, did that come out before that? I love that movie. Three I've Kings. never seen that movie. <laughs> I'm just going through. Jarhead. What did you call me? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Behind enemy lines? No, but I feel like you're in in the vicinity. Somewhere. Helicopters with armed soldiers land in a prison yard and begin firing at guards. The rock. No, that would, that would have been a good one. I tried to go with a theme. That's Alcatraz, right? So Spy Kids and then also 2001. Spy Who Shagged Me. <laughs> um, Once upon a time in Mexico. Mm-mm. I need I need something else. A man drives Spy. recklessly through city streets, and another man drives recklessly, speeding, backing into another car, and slamming into a street market. Well, it's not Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in Mrs. Doubtfire anymore. Is there another lifeline we can use? Can we go to directors? There's genre, movie year, and what was the third one? Name of the movie. Rating. The it's rating. It's gonna be R. Rating. It's gonna be R. Twenty three acts of violence. That's an R. It's gotta be an R. Yeah, R. Okay. Let's see. Genre. Uh you better say more than military. Is it on here or is it something that Go I with say? Your gut. I would call it a thriller? Hmm. Like a espionage thriller. So there's the spy. I feel like I could tell you the two main guys and you might not get it. We'll try it. Wow. Okay, let's try it. The two main guys? Yeah. No. Robert Redford. Mm-hmm. Brad Pitt. Oh, mm. my goodness. Meet Joe Black. A river runs through it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I'm out on this I picked one. a bad one. Sorry. All good. Do you reveal it? You get the win. What's the reveal? Spy game. Spy game. game. I did not know that as a movie. It's too generic as a like. I'm like. "Ah, Did you grow up watching it? I've seen it. Yeah. All right. Spy games off the table, so I'll scrap that. Uh. Baker Taylor Soldier (laughs) Spy Game. (laughs) Sex and nudity. A boy imitates oral sex towards a girl in his class. She is very offended, and she leaves the class. We'll go to violence and gore. A woman overdoses and blood can be seen on her face. We'll go to alcohol, drugs, and smoking. Lots of cocaine is shown being packaged into bags. He said class, right? Yeah. Which is throwing me. (laughs) Right? fascinating I'll take the lead with the faculty that is not correct that's a good guess though thank you um, except his wasn't called his wasn't cocaine it was called scat is that what the drug is in the faculty I'm almost have you seen certain. the faculty Tommy I have not no oh my goodness you would <laughs> love it it's so good it's it, really it's that's the alien one right yeah 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 it's, I'm almost certain. He I wish named it had drug. taken off like Scream did. You know where they just made a bunch of them. Mm. So Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. It's it. It was a romp. It's so stupid and fun. Uh, when I saw it, I I remember being afraid to see it as a kid, and then 20 years later, I saw it, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" The aliens <laughs> all like water, so it starts raining, and the entire football team is looking up at and they have, like little <laughs> alien snakes coming out of their eyes. Yeah, they. <laughs> They're like pretending to assimilate and just a little bit of water and it's just like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like they just give up like immediately. Oh man. Uh Oh wait, we haven't figured Okay, so do you have a guess or should I do another one? My guess is Pulp Fiction? 
That is not it. Okay, here's one from Frightening and Intense Scenes. It just says, the last 45 minutes of this film are quite dark. Like hard to see. (laughs) (laughs) The choreography was terrible, so they just turned the lights down. Class and drugs is what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. That's where I'm stuck. See, overdose and bloody nose, I always go to Pulp Fiction. (laughs) My brain just goes there. Uh, but I was like, I don't think there's a classroom in Pulp Fiction. Not that I can think of. Okay, give us another one. Lots of graphic discussions about sex and ejaculation, along with penises, breasts, and vaginas. Porkies. No. Thought um, maybe it was like classic American pie. Road trip? No. I will go to something a little different here. Let's go into the spoilers. Great. Ooh. A man is punched and kicked several times on the head face by a woman. Head slash face, not the head face. <laughs> the head face. <laughs> <laughs> by a woman wearing roller skates and a man. Half of it is off screen, but a lot of blood is on the nose and mouth after. I think I got it. Do you got it? I think I got it. I think it's the roller skates. This happens in a limo, right? I don't know. I will tell you before you say your guess. This is my favorite movie of all time. Oh wow! Really? Mm-hmm. Wow! I think we talked about it last night. I don't know why I'm being mysterious <laughs> for me and you. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, this I'm is like <laughs> Boogie Nights. Boogie, Boogie Nights. Night. Paul Thomas Anderson's masterpiece. Boogie Nights. Love it. One of the great American films. I have not seen Boogie Nights. You haven't? Yeah. This podcast is accidentally named after me. Because <laughs> I don't know movies. I'm it's so funny that I, yeah, the last 45 minutes is so dark. <laughs> yeah, just the last 45 minutes. The rest of it's a breeze. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. I, only, I think like, the only thing I know about Boogie Nights is the, the big dick scene. Yeah, very. Uh, that very is ending, very yeah. funny. Yes, <laughs> all you know. Yeah, that's like the last seconds of. The, it really the movie. is seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, like the, yeah, it, it's that too. Directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. You know Whoa. what I mean? Yeah. I knew it was at the end. <laughs> I didn't know it was. No, the they end wrapped of... up. At, like they've done a montage of that's what's happening with this character and this character. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, there was two roller girl things because that first part of the classroom is what happens to her. Right. Someone like does the right. thing there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could picture that. I couldn't get Donnie Darko out of my head. Mm. Well, the last 45 minutes are quite Darko. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I was going to go with American Hustle. I don't know why. I think the roller skates. Kind of a similar vibe, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I bet there's roller skates in that movie. (laughs) And I bet somebody gets beat up in them. For sure, yeah. (laughs) Ricky Jay, the magician, is in that movie, and I love so much that he put him in there and gave him like he's a camera operator Mm -hmm. in boogie nights Mm -hmm. uh nothing to do with magic not it's not like he gets a scene to steal or something just like a couple of key moments Mm -hmm. that are fun if you look at them you know uh but he's so good in it and also just seems like a camera operator guy in this perfect way he has one of the best lines where they show the porn movie and he goes it's a real film jack (laughs) (laughs) oh that's great (laughs) love that ricky j i don't know i think i'd i know him if i'd seen him he's a magician's magician yeah he's uh he's also in casino or something yeah he does the voice to magnolia how can you recall mystery men as well as I can? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Captain Amazing's manager at the very beginning of the movie is Ricky J. Maybe I can't recall it as well as you can. Oh man, <laughs> Sorry. that hurts. Yeah, uh, he's great. What? So what? But Ricky Michael J. Bay's in it. One time you didn't know yeah, that. You're right. You're also, right. I don't I'm getting anyone, really. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone can recall Mystery Man as well as you can. <laughs> yeah. I literally just read an early draft of the script. <laughs> Just to be like, I want more more information on the Blue Raja. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these tidbits. Oh, oh I, my God. This is my, I'm Salieri in this moment. <laughs> 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 I wish I knew as much about Mystery Men as you. 
This has been excellent. Tommy, thank you so much. It you have a special pleasure. coming out soon, right? Yes. My, my special Smoldering will be on YouTube November 9th, and the album version uh, via a Special Thing Records will be out November 10th. That's the next day. So check those out. Smoldering. I was very honored that you named it after me. And I, <laughs> it's very funny. I have seen it. It's an amazing comedy special. Thank it's you. Uh, something very special, and that's what a comedy special is. It's mostly throwing be. cards. <laughs> 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 I knew Ian would like it, so I showed him first. <laughs> they land uh, real close <laughs> to the watermelon. <laughs> uh, is it... Um, Stand up music combination. Combination, yes. So nice. there's a there's a full band uh, oh, that's yeah. very uh, kind of inspired by Stop Making Sense. They have a new band member each time there's a song, but there's also a lot of stand up in there, and it's a nice mix. So excellent. I think uh, it's a vibe. I think you'll enjoy it. I've seen clips, it. but I want to see it in full. You're Can't a very wait. special comedian, and I <laughs> I think it captures what you do very well. Thank you. Ian. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would describe you as a special thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect label for you. <laughs> wow. Well, that's it for I Don't Know Movies, the show where we go on IMDb and read your user suggestions. <laughs> so keep suggesting to those parental guides, folks, and we'll keep creating content. <laughs>